Today we're going to show you how to burst test cleanly, safely and in total control. What will you need? Firstly, you'll need some sort of pressure test pump. We're using our Serum Hydraulics Micropack hydraulic hand pump used on water. Hand pump, reservoir. You'll also need a pressure gauge, in this case drag pointer gauge, with a pointer that indicates the burst pressure. Finally, you'll need a containment chamber. Here we've got something so you can contain the burst and you'll need your test piece. This is a plastic molding, but it's your job, so whatever your need is. All we've done is simply connected our test piece to our hose in the containment chamber. We pumped a few strokes through of the hand pump to bleed out the air at the end of the test piece. We've set the point to zero, made sure the door is shut and we're ready to go. Next, start to pump steadily on your micropack hand pump. We're pumping and the pressure gauge is rising. You can see that the orange drag pointer is dragged around to the maximum position. You can also use an electronic pressure gauge nowadays which will record the maximum pressure as well. We're pumping on the micropack pump steadily. Pressure going up, pressure going up, pressure going up, pressure going up and there it goes. All safe, easy burst testing with a micropack pump. It's burst here. And here we've got our failure. A production engineer would need to know about this. A designer would need to know as well so he could make it stronger. Easy and safe burst testing using a containment chamber, a drag pointer pressure gauge and a micropack MP series hand pump. Links for all of our pumps and micropack kit can be found in the description box below. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe.